guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cachet if you're new welcome if not welcome back so obviously by the title of this video this is gonna be um, a tutorial on how I do my mini twist so let's just jump right into it the hair that I use is the O tree expression hair for the length that I like I use the 12 inch I use the 12 inch hair in the back in the back of my head and then I use the uh, 16 inch more towards the middle to the top of my head um, only because I you know if you do the same length in the back it's gonna be longer than what you do up here so that's just after so many times of doing it that's just what I like to do I use braid formula for my twists right now my hair is just it was like a wash and go that I just kind of put up so I'm not gonna use much of the braid formula. I am gonna like re-wet my hair with this rice water. Typically, I would start on freshly washed hair, but I am going on a cruise and I do plan on like getting my hair really, really wet, basically really dirty. Um, so I'm not gonna waste my time and wash my hair just to get it like super dirty again. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm about to watch some YouTube. I'll explain some of the steps throughout the way. Hope you enjoy it and I hope you look as fabulous as I do once this hair is complete. Alright y'all, so just in this clip, I am showing you how I wrap the braiding hair um, around my hair. Kind of like a, um, a box braid. Because I'm not doing them knotless, it just don't last as long whenever I do them knotless. But um, this is just like an hour in and I've already done maybe like... Mm, a fourth or almost half of it so basically like at this point I'm just explaining how I've been using the 12 inch hair in the back and I think I'm gonna finish using the 12 inch in the back and then once I move towards the front that's when I'll start using the 16 inch now at the very edge of my head I don't know why I parted it like this but I know that I was going for a very like defined and smaller parting for the very front of my head because I think that will last longer just with my hair um, texture. Okay, so here is another clip of me showing y'all how I wrap that um, hair around my hair like a box braid. And I just start braiding, I would say maybe an inch down, and then I start twisting. The key to mini twist is to twist the right strand over the left strand. I don't know why, but when I'm twisting my natural hair, I do left over right. But in order for you to get this like spring twist um, texture to like of it and not have it looking like put together, I don't have a clip of the wrong direction, but you will you will see a difference if you twist left over right. The key to twisting a mini twist is twisting the right strand over the left strand. I'm just adding um, the pieces that I cut in half. I don't know why I did this um, during the time I did these mini twists, 
I just didn't want the twist in the front to be too uh, big or bulky. And I know that when I use the 16 inch, like it's gonna be, it's gonna be longer than the rest of my hair for one, especially me doing it in the front. And then, I don't know, like sometimes it just comes out thicker. I don't know if I'm using, you know, too much hair or what. I'm not a professional at doing these mini twists, but I do them a lot and they keep me from having to do my hair, so. I just try different methods and different tricks every time I do it just to see, you know, what I like. Um, but now, we're almost done. <laughs> this is the best feeling ever, but by this time, I am like over doing my hair. Um, it took me about five to six hours, a lot, a lot, six to seven hours to do it on myself. It takes me like five or six to do it like on other people. But um, just because you can see the part, parting better. But this one was a little thick. I, I was tired. Like you can see where I get tired. Close to the top, the part be a little thicker. The twist be bigger. <laughs> but I'm just twisting away. Like I said, twist it right over left. Also, as you're twisting right over left, you want to twist each piece like the opposite direction. So that would be twisting left. And then kind of like a rope twist. You don't have to do this, but I feel like it, um, helps lock your hair in better. Like twisting it the opposite way and then twisting it the opposite way of that locks your hair in and it keeps it from popping out as easily. Um, I noticed that when I just twist regular, like right over left, sometimes my hair will like pop out, but that's not the case when I do like a rope twist type of twist. And then I just cut off of those, uh, stringy raggedy looking at um ends i just don't prefer them i prefer it to look you know kind of uniform but just with this last twist going through spraying it with the rice water you know link check hang time <laughs> but i'm going to take a little bit of that braiding gel towards the root kind of smooth it through my hair just so that it blends in with the um kinky hair a little better start off with like a box braid wrapping that hair around doing a three strand braid and about one inch down from where I started that's when I split it in two and then I start twisting the opposite directions and then right over left and I just keep going keep going if I feel like it's not going to blend well or it's not smoothing well that's when I will add a little bit more gel just to make sure none of the ends pop out because that's not cute. Especially with this being at the top of my head. Okay, final touches. I put um, the Design Essentials Avocado um, Mousse on my hair. I absolutely love this mousse. It's so lightweight. It smells delicious. And it doesn't feel like sticky or tacky. Um, some foams that I use, it just feels like I'm just adding product on top of the twist. I mean, which I am, but it just doesn't feel right, if y'all understand what I'm saying. Anyway. I just rubbed it all throughout my hair just to kind of seal everything in, um, keep those flyaways down. And then I'm going in with my Edge Fixer Max Hole Edge Control. At the time, this edge control was everything for me, but I think my hair is like so used to it now. So I use something totally different. But if you want to try something different, do it. I think this is a great edge control. I just think my hair kind of got used to it. And then we're going in, you know, with the old time favorite, the pink spray. 
the oil sheen but that is the end of this video i didn't film my outro thank you guys for watching i appreciate it. if you like this video like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video bye